Hi guys, this is Shiva. Welcome to Trademark. Today's our topic is candlestick patterns. Candlestick patterns invented in Japan in the year 1600, almost 400 plus years ago. Okay, there are four prices in the market. That is open, high, low, and close. Whenever you are going to analyze the past price, then you have to analyze these four prices. that is open high low and close all these prices can be analyzed through charts there are various kinds of charts we have candlestick chart line chart bar chart momentum chart ichimoku chart kagi line trenko lot of types are there these are all charts we can see in every trading software if i follow line chart it looks like this this is a candlestick chart to analyze past data candlestick chart is very good If you follow line chart means it show only closing price you can't understand where it opens how much high it went up how much low it touch in a day or in a 15 minutes or in an hour that is the biggest drawback in a line chart to solve this problem there was a nice type of chart which is known as candlestick chart in candlestick chart we get opening data closing data high and low levels let's see how candle looks this is a green candle means bullish candle There are two colors in a candlestick. It could be red or it could be green. If it is in a green, basically like bullish candle. Okay, this is a green candle. This is opening. This is closing. Lower part and higher part, which we call as wick. This is a upper wick. This is a lower wick. What wick tells us? It tells us very important data. Topmost part of the wick says that is the highest price that share moves in a particular time frame, and bottom wick says that lowest price. it touches in a particular time frame just assume in this green candle price is opens at 100 level and close at 120 level and high point it went off to 130 level and low point it touches to 90 level so in this criteria candle moves down to upside this part is known as body body of the candle next one is red candle means bearish candle in red candle this is opening this is closing This level is highest price that share moves in a particular time. This bottom wick says lowest price it touches. In this scenario, market opens at higher and closes below. In this red candle, price opens at 120 level and closes at 100 level. High point it went off to 130 level and low point it touches to 90 level. In this criteria, candle moves upside to downside. Don't bother about time frame. If you take daily time frame then daily chart will forms then every candle indicates one day if you take weekly time frame then weekly chart will forms then every candle indicates one week that is monday to friday if you take monthly time frame same every candle indicates one month first to 31st on every month whatever time frame you take one minute or five minutes or 15 minute chart remains same candlestick pattern remains same only okay let's see how candle forms this is open this is close this is high point and low point so market opens here at 100 level then sellers are try to take it down still 90 level then buyers are so aggressive and push it up still 130 level next very less sellers came into picture and closes at 120 level this is how candle forms okay one more candle here down wick is missing because in this candle low point is equal to open point in this candle open price at 100 rupees lowest price it touches to 100 only highest it went off to 130 level next its closing price is 120 level okay first we understood about history of candlestick patterns next we learn about types of charts and we learn four prices in the market next we saw how candles will form Next let's see about types of candlesticks. There are hundreds of types are there. I am going to talk about some very important types of candles. First one is doji. In this candle opening and closing at same level. That's why there is no body in this one. This level is lowest point and this level is highest point. Doji indicates neutral signal. That means bulls and bears are neutral or equal. We also call it as indecisive. Means no decision no decision is equal to indecisive 
doji forms in an uptrend it indicates bulls are tired next who comes into action we don't know that's why we wait for the confirmation with doji bearish candle when doji bearish candle forms then we will exit long position so doji is an alert signal bearish candle is confirmation important thumb rule doji is first alert means bulls are losing control second alert is bears are comes into the action in uptrend after doji bullish candle forms means then it indicates trend will continue signal so when doji forms at uptrend we call it as doji bearish signal or doji bearish alert same formula applies in downtrend also when doji forms at downtrend we call it as doji bullish alert next candlestick is bullish harami in japanese language harami means pregnant lady in downtrend this candlestick forms means like small baby inside a long bearish candle it indicates bears lost control next for every pattern there is a reversal pattern so bullish harami opposite bearish harami same thing applies and one more important point small bodies needs confirmation small body needs confirmation very important thumb rule next one is bullish engulfing this big green candle indicates downtrend is over bears lost control no need confirmation for big bodies this big body itself indicates that trend is shifting same bullish engulfing opposite bearish engulfing hmm, going fast being a technical analyst reading price watching charts and reading patterns and filtering momentum stocks and all excites me more technical analysis is a big area it's very very big area it's like an ocean technical analysis is back door study of fundamentals okay okay i hope you learned something very important in this video but this is not even 1% of entire technical analysis so we can go step by step soon we will cover some important topics good to see you in next video jai hind